Okay, so let's start back or let's continue where we left off. Uh, we left off on uh, contract book just now. Okay. 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 So, <clears throat> what is okay? So we know team administration. Okay, we know team administration. Okay, how the teams administer themselves. Okay, we know that. Okay, project Carter means the teams, the project's mission and goal. Okay, who are the team members? Um, how long would each team member be dalam project ni? So, yeah, each team members come from different division. They have their own job of uh, job description. Tapi, they are in this team for a certain period of time only. And what percentage would they be here and everything else? These are their... Yeah, uh, this is all documented in uh, Project Carter. But a contract book pull up defines the resources, defines the development time, defines what is to be achieved in this contract book. Okay, so each member will sign this contract book and establish their commitment. Okay, this commitment that means uh, that whatever they do in this uh, project. It belongs to the company, so this is where all the contract agreements all come in inside the contract book. Okay, if the project is only within three months, then there is no issues. But if we are not talking about a long term project or we are working with a big multinational company, then a contract book is very, very, very important. Obviously, you do not want to uh, sell, you do not want your employees to sell your secrets outside. Let's say you work, if you're working for Google, Apple, Microsoft, so you are in a project development team, so that you require a contract book uh, agreement for each of your team members. If you are now talking about virtual, <coughs> virtual teams, virtual teams are members who are in different location. They, are on, they only communicate through uh, video conferencing or video calls or WhatsApp messages or Twitters or anything online. They only see their faces online. They can be different countries, different offices. Okay. Uh, if, let's say you're working with your partner, let's say, Padrin, you tengah bekerja dalam perkeso, office mate you tingkat atas and you tingkat bawah, then you're not a virtual team. Because you still have the opportunity kalau nak naik tangga, terjumpa dia juga. Virtual teams mean that members are in different locations and have no possible way of meeting uh, indirectly. Let's say seorang daripada Johor Kedah, then your virtual teams. Sebab jarang you boleh nak jumpa tiba-tiba, you jumpa. Eh, jumpa pula tak? Kalau nak jumpa pun, you have to make appointments, you have to make sure they come down. Okay, a virtual teams are people who work in different locations and have impossible ways of meeting together. If you're working bangunan bersebelahan, then it's not considered virtual. So there is always a possibility to jump kat bawah. Okay, so virtual teams are distant from each other but able to collaborate. They're able to collaborate uh, through video calls, ke, uh, group where, contohnya macam Google uh, Classroom, Google Form, Google Documents, uh, you are uh, able to communicate through emails and other chat programs. Okay, so managing Google uh, virtual teams are also uh, important and they also function as if like a face to face team. Juga. Some of you they, they need to be uh, team members, they need to be you, you need to address the team size and other issues relating to teams. Okay. Uh, like we mentioned yesterday, we have two concepts of R&D. One is decentralization and centralization. So decentralization is each division has their own R&D. So if you're working virtually, each uh, country can also have their own R&D, but they will communicate to each other. As you can see in this diagram, decentralization, walaupun you orang bekerja di company, sorry, negara lain-lain, but there is no central, uh, central office. Uh, not the central office. So if they this this company or this uh, country find something, they will share it among themselves only. Okay. 
Okay, they'll just share it. There is no uh, managing body to say, okay, everyone needs to share nothing. Okay, there is no HQ. Lah, okay. Um, in terms of coordination, yes, maybe you have a small coordinator or maybe you have a system architecture. What is a system architecture? That means everyone needs to follow the same method of developing a software. Contohnya, kalau macam you're working for a company, and then company kata, okay, kalau semua orang nak buat kerja, everyone needs to have a laptop brand Mac only. Okay, because that is our architecture. Kalau nak buat any system, needs to be on this platform only. Uh, kalau nak beli software, needs to be Microsoft only. So that is what we say as a system architecture. Or maybe the company says, okay, if everyone wants to, uh, all our laptops uh, need to be be, uh, brand Dell saja. So that is another system architecture. Okay. But there is no control body. It's just the same thing only. Okay? They just do standardization. Okay. If you're looking at centralization as per proper centralization, each country has their own R&D, tapi they work virtually together in one central place. Okay. One central place. That means there is no R&D in separate countries. They are only members saja. So maybe they share the same file, they work on the same Google form, they work on the same Google Drive. So these are shared venture team. And all of them are centralized into one area only. Okay. So, so certain questions that we need to understand here, what are the trade-offs including team size? What are the disadvantages? Uh, how can you identify uh, point, uh, point number three? How can you identify an example of development project and what type of team members you believe they will use? Okay, these are the issues that we need to go. Oh, continue. Okay, so these are the issues that you need to understand. Okay, so what have we covered in chapter 12? So, chapter 12, we have covered about the uh, managing of uh, new products, okay, and the teams, okay. So, we have also understood we have also already discussed about brainstorming which is uh, according to this book they say that it is not necessary it kills the ideas but we do not agree with that okay so but together brainstorming to them yeah there are certain issues like that but in a brainstorming situation we need to brainstorm we need to put down the ideas and it's a team which will select what is the best idea okay or <coughs> Although memang lah, we have peers, but I think um, it's just over time these peers will disappear, All right? And we also talk about uh, structure of new team, a new product development team, a functional, lightweight, heavy and autonomous. And I think the best part, the best uh, structure for a product development team would be your heavyweight, because each uh, you'll be connected through. Um, the project manager and you also be connected to an assistant project manager in your uh, department team as well. Okay, so that is all for today. Uh, any questions so far you want to ask me? All right, so um, just before we end, let me show you. I, I think I've shared the um, uh, individual assignments on your email. Okay. So today we have uh, uh, we have covered uh, eleven and twelve. Okay, I do not want to cover thirteen. So I uh, you start on the questions first. What assignment did you do? All right. So yesterday is chapter ten and eleven. We have done that. Okay. So you will answer the questions here and chapter twelve and thirteen as well. Okay. So the due is on next week on that in team. So next week, 18, we will do chapter 13, and that's it, habis. And 19, kita akan buat your test, 9 o'clock until about 12 o'clock. Habis 12 o'clock, we will start with your uh, group presentation. Uh, siapa nak jalan dulu, tak apa, tak masalah. We will discuss nanti. And itu sajalah untuk semester ini. Okay, are we all okay? Okay, Doctor. All right. Uh, okay, Fazrin, any question? Hafiz, any question? Uh, Marash? Uh, untuk, untuk, 
uh, untuk presentation tu what you expect eh uh, uh. I expect you to answer the question okay I expect everyone to talk you pandai-pandai lah you nak buat macam mana uh, mungkin dalam bentuk uh, any how you want to present it's up to you uh, any matter uh, maximum kalau you nak maximum I think 20 minutes will be fine lah 20 minutes will be fine and if there's any questions between team members dibenarkan uh, tapi janganlah sampai tekan team member satu lagi kan uh, tanya-tanyalah soalan yang berpada-pada and uh, you know just just to interact among yourself and there is no right or wrong answer all answers are accepted everything is possible uh, whatever you want to do how you want to present it's fine with me okay, okay? Alright, uh, for Rafika, okay? Okay, yes. Doctor. Okay. Fami, uh, anything? Famika, Arashka, Fazrin, Ira, Fahira? Okay, Doctor. Alright, okay. So, I will see you, insyaAllah, next week. And uh, your assignment pun dah. Uh, cuba check dalam email dah sampai ke? Ah, dah dapat lah. Okay, alright, good. Alright, uh, your assignment pun dalam uh, hantar melalui turn in eh. Uh, you boleh pakai kelas yang sama, dia punya uh, dia punya Android. nombor yang sama saja. Uh, I've already created a, a subsection untuk uh, assignment uh, 18 hari pula. Okay. Alright. Thank, Thank you so much. I will see you next week. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you so much.